Hey Beemos, how you doing? I hope you had a great week. Hope you had a chance to check out my Rocky Horror Project yesterday. The most common suggestion I got about this project was to pair this with my mirror sunglasses project. Actually, that was my first thought with this project. I knew I wanted to make some palette wood lips because I'd seen these on Pinterest. A guy po posted one on my Facebook page that looked really cool. And then I thought, well, I could I would make that more Halloween related by doing Rocky Horror Picture Show and tie it in with the 40th anniversary. But when I started to design it and lay it out with the sunglasses, I realized that this would just be too big and it would look really weird. Let me show you. You know what that reminds me of? It reminds me of Roz on Monsters, Inc. So to make the lips proportional, they would need to be about, well, less than that big right down here, which really isn't much of a project, especially if you're gonna make a standalone project. I also got a lot of nice comments on the Casper commercial idea. Of course, I was trying to parody some of these unboxing and product review videos that you see. <laughs> and I wanted to try to parody this whole pacing while vlog trend and my thought was to just keep going around and around my truck I thought that would be really funny but I kept getting into the shadow and it was just getting too difficult for me another thing I wanted to add that I thought would be funny is this whole driving around town in fast motion you know I think Casey Neistat started that whole thing now a lot of guys do that thing and I didn't have time to, to do that part I'm making an announcement right here right now I've given up on the San Francisco 49ers for this season yes I am a fair weather fan and I know that people like to throw that around as an insult but I think being a fair weather fan is a good thing when I watch football I just want to be entertained I want to see a good game even like the Raiders I like to watch the Raiders they almost always put on an entertaining show even though they don't win a lot but they're fun to watch the 49ers have just gotten just boring a football team is no different than any other brand or corporation and when they start producing a bad product I'm not going to buy that product it'd be like somebody who loves Apple products so much that say Apple came out with an iPhone that just fell apart every single one of them just falls apart in your hand and yet you still consistently buy that same iPhone. It just doesn't make sense. If San Francisco starts winning some games and entertaining me, I will start watching again. There you go. That's my rant on the 49ers. Go Raiders. <laughs> Plus, Oakland actually is closer to San Francisco now than San Francisco is now that they play down in Santa Clara. Quick reminder that next Friday is the final day for the Makers Care Build a Plane campaign. So if you're thinking about making a plane, please do it now. We're real close to the goal of $6,000. In fact, once I put in my bit, when this is all over, it's gonna, we'll be way over the goal. So that's great. I think when this is all done, what I'm gonna do is make a video of all the photos that have been submitted too. That should be fun. And that's all the shop talk I have for this week. So if you're not interested in horror films, and I totally understand that, thank you for watching up to this point and I'll see you next week. I also want to thank all of you last week who left suggestions for horror movies, scary movies I may have never heard of in the comments. That was a lot of fun going through those and I wrote them down. I've got them on my list so I hope to see a lot of those that you've recommended. A lot of them I've never heard of before. I also mentioned that this week I would talk about my favorite scary movies. These are movies that I can see again and again and I think were kind of revolutionary in what they did. I'm gonna start with the movie that kind of started and ended the career of Linda Blair, of course, The Exorcist. The Exorcist has some great visuals in it. Who can forget Linda Blair spitting up pea soup? The Exorcist is important because it was a big budget horror film that pretty much kicked off the whole demonic possession genre. Number five on my list is Saw, and really the entire Saw series. Saw often gets unfairly tagged as torture porn, along with Hostel and a whole bunch of other movies that came after it. What Saw did was breathe new life into the horror genre. What I like best about Saw and the entire Saw series is that it's a well-written mystery. It always keeps you guessing with its twists and turns and is full of surprises. Number four, The Blair Witch Project, which was one of the first of the whole found footage horror film. I love the raw nature of The Blair Witch Project and the fact that you really don't see anything scary in it. There's just a lot of shaky cam and a lot of darkness and a lot of strange sounds. If I was going to have a spooky movie party on Halloween, that would be the movie I would show. 
If you're a huge fan of horror films like I am, you'll know that my number three pick is also my most controversial. It's Halloween, and not the original, but the Rob Zombie remake. To a lot of horror fans, John Carpenter's original Halloween is sacred and not to be messed with. And I love the original Halloween, and it was groundbreaking in its time, and I look back on it now though, and it seems kind of tame. Rob Zombie took Halloween to a whole new level of intensity and brutality. And I love the fact that he included this entire backstory of Michael Myers and his childhood and why he wears the masks, and it almost makes you feel sorry for him. I also highly recommend Halloween 2 and all of Rob Zombie's movies, The House of a Thousand Corpses and Devil's Rejects. Some good filmmaking there. His movies are hardcore, not for the faint of heart. My number two favorite scary movie established the rules of all zombie movies, Night of the Living Dead. Like all of the movies on this list, I could watch Night of the Living Dead over and over again. I never get tired of it. Everything in it just works together. A group of people who don't know each other can find in a small place with an outside threat. I also recommend Dawn of the Dead and Day of the Dead for the three George Romero zombie films. Plus, it's really fun to see the level of satire and commentary on the human condition. Finally, the film that has been number one on my list of horror films for years, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Toby Hooper's 1973 Texas Chainsaw Massacre is a horror movie that is so perfect, none of its sequels or remakes can even come close in comparison. It's a masterpiece of set design and realism. And if you haven't seen it, despite its sensationalistic title, there's very little blood or gore in the movie. The movie starts with a sense of dread and just becomes relentless and doesn't let up for the entire length of the movie. And that's my list of my favorite scary Halloween movies of all time. Let me know what you think down below. What are your favorites? And tell me where I went wrong on, on my picks. Thanks for indulging me in this. This was a lot of fun. Have a great week, everybody, and I'll see you next week on Halloween. Woo!